Hey guys, it's time for my November favourites. Oh my god, where has this year gone? It's just over, I can't believe it's December. It's going to be Christmas in a few weeks time. Time has gone so fast. But I want to show you the things that I've been loving this month and when I was looking when I was thinking, oh, what are my favourites? I was thinking, I don't really have any. But then I started looking through the things I'd been using every day. And as always, I've got quite a few things. So I'm just going to get straight into it. The first thing I want to show you is this body butter from um, the body shop. It is a duo body butter. So the normal one's really um, whipped and soft and fluffy. And the dry skin side is really hard. But I've loved it so much that I've finished it. I wasn't a fan of the swell before but this one's a really really nice one it's sweet pea and it's definitely grown on me and I love the fact that you get two different types of creams in one and maybe once I've finished everything I will be repurchasing one of these sort of ones don't even know if they still do them but really really love this one definitely recommend it especially for this time of the year and as it's got both sides you can use it on all parts of your body I use the <clears throat> the dry skin one which is the really hard sort of cream for my feet which is a bit random but I wanted to use up the cream and I have done so and it's such a nice little um, tub that I can use like this for storage another skincare item that I've been loving is this Neutrogena visibly clear two-in-one wash mask face thing and I've mainly been using this one as a mask not as a face wash so when I take off all my makeup, I put this on, leave it for a few minutes, five to ten minutes, however long, and then when I go into the shower, I wash it off and then cleanse normally with my um, Garnier face wash. But <clears throat> really love this one. I can feel the cooling, tingling effect. It's just really nice for my face, and obviously this is for like I suppose spot prone, acne prone skins because it's the mask is used as a mask to unclog pores and purify deep down, which my skin needs especially when I put so much makeup on but I do have a good cleansing routine I think so this is really good part of that I have I've had my eye on these this product I suppose this like a range of products and it's been a while and I was like I just have to go and get it and I ended up getting the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray I got this through topcashback.co.uk I think and I think when you're new, if you're a new um, joiner to Top Cashback, they gave you five pounds if you spent spent something in Debenham. So you could literally buy something for five pounds and get it back. So you buy something free. But I wanted to get this one, so I used my um, yeah, I, I bought it through Top Cashback, got five pounds back, and it was on discount. I think by a few pounds. So I think it ended up being about twelve pounds or something in total. Really good. I got the full size one and you get 118 mils in it and I got the cooling and hydrating one because I thought if I got a cooling one it would make my makeup last longer and just give me a refreshed look and I use this today and I think my makeup is pretty perfect I did touch up though when you're filming you have to touch up I suppose <laughs> but it's really nice it's just got two little caps and then you just spray it it's just a pump spray sort of bottle recommend this if you want your makeup to last long and it's perfect for this time of year especially if you're going to be going out going to parties and spending time with your friends all day long another discovery which I didn't think I'd really like this flavor of or the scent of this product is the lip butter and caramel cream and the only reason I started using this one is because I'd lost this one now I found it but I'll finish this off it's nearly finished now and I needed something to use before I went to sleep and this is the best one I think in terms of the formulation for just before I go to sleep. Nighttime treatment is perfect, it's so soft, creamy and I wasn't a fan of this in terms of smell and I'm still not a fan but it, I can definitely tell that it's a lot less sweeter than the vanilla macadamia one and I will always love these for nighttime treatments and I will always repurchase them. Not this flavour though but it's I'm glad I got had this one as a backup to use when I lost my other one. Another skincare favourite, I suppose you could say, is this Evian facial spray. I saw it in, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or if it's focusing. Um, I found this in Debenhams, I think, and it was on um, sale for £3.50. And I was like, well, I have to get it because I've been wanting a nice cooling mist. 
and this one is amazing it's like it's so refreshing you can definitely feel the refreshingness of it so I might have to get a bigger one of these um, in the future and if you've got makeup on and it's feeling like if your face is feeling tired throughout the day this is another good thing to use because it sort of just refreshes your face and makes you feel awake and it is cooling I really love this and I think these sort of sprays are perfect especially for summertime so perfect to take with you even if you're going on holiday and stuff and mascara favorite for this month again it's another product which has grown on me is the number seven stay perfect mascara this one's a long-lasting volume one the only problem with this one is that when you take it off it does come in, off in clumps which is a pro and a con it's a pro because it comes off in clumps and in the shower you can literally just hold um, your lashes for a few seconds with um, once they're wet with warm water and then they just literally come off but if you take it off with I think wipes and whatnot then it sort of can get everywhere and it can get in your eye and then you have to be careful to take the little tubes out um, but I do I really like this one it's definitely grown on me and I'll continue to wear this it's an easy wear mascara I mean if you want to build it up to get really separated looking lashes it takes some time but um, if you want to just slap on a, a coat or two then it's a really good one for my face, I have been loving a number 17 blusher. This is the blusher in nude. And I really love the formulation of these. They're like really soft, really powdery. Probably won't be able to see that. But this nude one's a really nice, just sort of contour cheek colour. It's really neutral, perfect for these festive months. An amazing discovery which I made um, last time I went to Milton Keynes um, was this. It's a NYX blush. I found NYX in NEXT, it was like crazy, I was like, NYX in NEXT? What's going on? Like, I don't think they've got, I don't think NYX is anywhere else in the UK, like in any um, drugstore shops or anything. The only place you can get NYX is through their website, uh, they do have a .co.uk website. And I only got one because this one was £6, which is pretty expensive, but it's NYX, so, um, you know, they can up their prices, especially because they're not really found in the UK much. Um, I got the shade in taupe, um, the reason why I got this one because I've got pinky sort of shades and whatnot but I wanted sort of again a contoury sort of colour so you probably can't see that and I wouldn't say the formulation of these are amazing I kind of wish they were like the 17 ones where they just like sort of just come off with a swipe but this is a really nice taupey brownie colour for contouring and it's really natural so recommend that and if you're in Milton, Milton Keynes next check out the next stand in next I'm not sure if they're in any other next um, branches but if they are let me know because it's pretty exciting isn't it for eyes I have been loving this one um, this is the color permanent taupe it's a 24-hour sort of color tattoo eyeshadow and again this is a brownie sort of taupe color this is a matte one which I've been um, liking for my look recently just doing a really matte look matte brown eye um, really simple really nude and neutral it's just nice just to change up your look so another one of the eye color studio 24 hour tattoos whatever they're called um, I have been loving is the on and on bronze and I've loved it so much that I've literally finished it it's I've literally wiped it clean and I've had I remember the first time I think I'm not sure if I got that got it when it first came out but I've had this for about a year and a half and I pretty much use it every single day apart from the odd occasion when I used another color it's just amazing this color is the best this color is a good one and it is the best base ever they they make your eyeshadows last all day long and they don't budge so I'm lucky to say that I have my backup one ready to start using and it's brand new. I think I've only used it once so it is really just something lovely and I recommend these for anyone starting off with makeup or just wanting an easy everyday eyeshadow base. Um, I'm not sure about eyeshadow primers but this one's just the easiest one to use I think so definitely recommend that one. So another favourite I want to mention is this Maybelline 14 hour lipstick. It's in the colour addi Always Addictive, Always Addictive, Always Plum, sorry. It smells oh so divine and sweet like sugar and candy. And I've swatched it there, as you can see. It's a really dark 
sort of colour. It's not as dark as I would have thought it would be, but it's a nice colour, especially if you want it to last all day long to put it underneath another lipstick. And I have been loving pairing it with this one, which I've swatched here, and it is the Rimmel London Apo Apocalypse in the colour Eclipse. It's, a, it's probably the darkest lip colour I own. Absolutely love it. Perfect for these um, festive months. And I think this one's just it's really nice formulation. I've got another one in it in the colour Galaxy. It's just it's like a liquid lipstick. So moisturising, so smooth. It, fairly long lasting especially because the dark colours would last a lot longer anyway and I absolutely love it you do have to be careful when applying it because it can go everywhere like on your face and that's not pretty but um, absolutely recommend that one a nail varnish favourite I've got this month is a Barry M nail paint in the colour rose quartz glitter I don't know what number it is well there's two numbers 349 and 243 I'm not sure exactly but this one's perfect a nice top coat for any nail varnish it just adds some sparkle and just perfect again for these winter festive months um, just to give your nails look a really nice polished done up look without doing much so recommend that and a similar one to this one is the nail varnish from the colour show off range from Maybelline and it's in the colour Knitted Gold. I'm not sure if it's a limited edition so you'd have to go check that one out but I might get one of those as a backup for when this one finishes which it's nearly coming to a finish it looks like because I've been using it so much. Absolutely love this one. A drink favourite I've got this month is bubble tea and if you've not heard of what bubble tea is it's just you can get milk teas or um, fruit flavoured teas and they have these sort of balls in them and I don't have a picture to show you because I've lost my phone I don't know where I've put it but it's these sort of balls which you boil well you don't tend to make it at home but I want to try and attempt to make it at home so I've bought the stuff but these are like sort of jelly sort of balls which you drink up through a big thick straw and it's sort of just you eat and chew and drink and it's just amazing I, I absolutely love the concept of bubble tea so the first time I had it was in Singapore where I just tried a plain soy milk with the black pearls inside and I wasn't a fan of it then because the soy milk wasn't that sweet and neither were the black pearls and it was just weird and chewy and the concept was weird. The second time I had it was in Barcelona and it was amazing because I tried a fruit tea version with the green tea and kiwi I think. It was just so good and I think after then I sort of got obsessed somehow and ever since then I, went, I wanted to try it again. Recently when I went to Chinatown I had it twice in the same day I ended up getting an taro, half taro and half coconut milk with these black pearls which they're not just, they're called black pearls because once you boil them they turn into like a shiny sort of black pearl, that's what they're meant to look like, this sort of thing. They're actually made of tapioca, tapioca is from a root of some kind and I have no idea but it tastes good and I can't wait to make it, I'm going to attempt to make it myself. I bought these on eBay, I did, and I bought this on eBay as well. It looks really dodgy, don't you think? It's just a bag with some powder. <laughs> but this is actually taro powder, which again, it's... Oh, it smells so good. It's a powder from a root kind of vegetable. And I'm going to try and make a half coconut, half taro flavoured bubble tea or something like that. Again, similar to what I had when I went to Chinatown. So can't wait to try this and absolutely love bubble tea and if it turns out well I might invest in some more different flavoured powders and things so can't wait for that. And last of all I want to mention my drama favourites which I've been mentioning in my last few favourites I think. The first one is an all time all time all time favourite. It is a new drama which I didn't realise had come out this year. It came from or it aired from March to July and it was called Itazura na Kiss Love in Tokyo and Itazura means um, mischievous or playful and then na kiss so it's playful or mischievous kiss and it, I'm not going to mention what the story is about because I suggest highly that you search into it and watch first the Taiwanese version then watch the anime version then the Korean version then possibly and then watch this version, which is, I've written them all down because I've got to make sure I mention it. And th this is the Japanese version, which is a new version that they've made. And 
just just I just absolutely love the story and I could not believe that I didn't know there was a Japanese version of it and so I watched it literally in like two three days <laughs> because I love the storyline that one I watched on the anime X app which I mentioned in my last favorites absolutely amazing app if you've got Android phone I'm not sure if it's on I iPhone as well but these apps are amazing because you can watch so many different dramas on them or anime especially on anime X on the Vicky drama app um, they've revamped it and made it into a new sort of app which I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of gotta get used to it um, I have been watching a Taiwanese drama called love family and but it's a really nice family drama so um, I've been loving that I sort of had a break when I started watching it does and I kiss love in Tokyo because um, the subtitles hadn't been fully uploaded but I think they're uploading them slowly because it's not as a pop it's not as much of a popular one as another one that I've been watching um, and the last one that I've been loving this month is a Korean drama called Airs and again it's about I think I mentioned again this in my last favourites because it's so amazing I've had a break as well I need to start watch last week's one episode and then t yesterday one episode came out so I need to watch that as well rich kids poor kids loving each other falling in love and just, it's just amazing I love I don't know where these people come up with these storylines but absolutely fall in love with them and in this one I'm actually wanting the bad guy or bad sort of character to end up with the girl because I absolutely love his bad guy character I don't know why obviously to her he's not completely bad or a total ass but I love him Choi Young Do like I love his character he's not the most good looking of Korean characters but um, he plays his character well let's just say I hope you guys enjoyed my November favourites as much as I have been loving them this past month and um, I just can't wait till Christmas and all the Christmas fun and gatherings and board game playing and everything like that I um, hope you guys have an amazing Christmas and I shall see you probably in my end of year favourites see ya